जय हिंद भारत माता की जय विद दिस स्लोगन मिनी चंद्र मंडल विशेष यू ऑल इंडियन हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे फ्रीडम फाइटर्स ऑफ इंडिया फ्लोरल ट्रिब्यूट ऑन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ ऑल द फ्रीडम फाइटर्स ऑफ मदर इंडिया हु सेक्रीफाइस देयर लाइफ फॉर द शेक ऑफ मदर इंडिया ऑन द हैप्पीएस्ट ओकेजन ऑफ हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे ऑन दिस हिस्टोरिक डेट ऑफ फिफ्टीन अगस्त नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन इंडिया अचीव फ्रीडम फ्रॉम द क्लचेस ऑफ ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट दिस अचीवमेंट वर द कलमिनेशन ऑफ न्यूमरस मूवमेंट्स एंड स्ट्रगल्स लेड बाय द इंडोमेटेबल एफोर्ट ऑफ ग्रेट मैनी रेवोल्यूशनरी फ्रीडम फाइटर्स दिस इंडिपेंडेंस वच अचीव थ्रू द अनसिजिंग एफोर्ट ऑफ मैनी रेवोल्यूशनरी फ्रीडम फाइटर्स देयर कंट्रीब्यूशन एंड सेक्रीफाइस to india's freedom struggle has been immortalized in the minds of every indians this video brings you the brief life sketches of immortal indian freedom fighters may their blessings be upon us ever and ever and their every breath of dedication and devotion determination and sacrifice inspire us to work for the motherland and for the upliftment of mother india to the heavenly state up on this happiest occasion let us know about our freedom fighters jhansi lakshmi bai who was otherwise called as manikarnika tambe the rani of jhansi was the maharani consort of the maratha princely state of jhansi from 1843 to 1853 as the wife of maharaja gangadhar rao figure she was one of the leading figures of the indian rebellion of 1857 and became a symbol of resistance to the british raj for indian nationalists she died in the rebellion wounded and killed in a battle on 18 june 1858 floral tribute unto the lotus feet of maharani jhansi lakshmi bai nana sahib with who had otherwise called the nana sahib peswa to born age dhondu pant was an indian peswa of the maratha empire fighter who led the rebellion in kanpur during the indian rebellion of 1857 he died on 24th september 1859 let me introduce another freedom fighter jai rajaguru a great freedom fighter and a martyr of odisha was born on 29th october 1739 in puri district odisha Jai Rajgur was an excellent scholar in Sanskrit and a great tantra sadhak. He had mastered Vedas, Puranas, and scriptures in the early years of his life. Jai Rajgur was the real hero and true champion of Pike Rebellion, who was the architect behind the monumental recognition of Khurdagarh as the last independent fort on in India. He was sentenced to death by tying his legs to the branches of a banyan tree in Baghi Tota, Midanapur. Tantya Tope, Tantya Tope was a general in the Indian Rebellion of 1857. Tope was a Maratha Vasistha Brahmin by birth, a personal adherent to Nana of Bitter. He progressed with the Gwalior contingent after the British reoccupied Kanpur and forced General Vidham to retreat from the city. Tantya Tope came to the relief of Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jhansi and with her siege and with her siege the city of Gwalior. Tantya Tope was executed by the British government at Sivapuri on 18 April 1859. Mangal Pandey was an Indian soldier in the British army and is believed to be one of the key figures behind Sipahi Mutiny or India's first war of independence in 1857. Due to his attack on two British soldiers, Mangal Pandey was hanged to death on April 8, 1857 at the age of 29. Kunwar Singh was a leader during the Indian Rebellion of 1857. He belonged to a family of the Ujjain clan of the Paramar Rajputs of Jodhpur. Jodhpur Singh led the Indian Rebellion of 1857 in Bihar. He was nearly 80 and in failing health when he was called upon to take up arms. He was assisted 
by both his brother Babu Amar Singh and his commander in chief Hare Krishna Singh. Sri Alluri Sita Ramaraju is a brave son of India who laid down his life to free Mother India from the oppression of the British. In 1857, during the First World War of Independence, Sri Alluri Sita Ramaraju went deep into the forests of Gondaland and met the tribals and inspired them to fight for India's independence. He raided many police stations in and around Chintapalli, Krishna Devi Peta, and Raja Vomangi. He was also involved in the murder of many British army officers such as Scott, Covert, and Heights. He was died in uh, 1924. Bal Tilak, born as Kesav Gangadhar Tilak, was an Indian nationalist, teacher, author, and an independent activist. He was one third of the Lal Bal Tremuvarites. Tilak was the first leader of the Indian independence movement. Bal Gangadhar Tilak, called maker of modern India by Mahatma Gandhi and father of the Indian revolution by Jawaharlal Nehru. Helped lay, he helped lay the foundation of Indian Swaraj. Lala Lajpat Rai was an Indian freedom fighter who played a pivotal role in the Indian independence movement. He was popularly known as Punjab Kesari. He was one of the three of Lal Bal Pal Tremivarids. Lala Lajpat Rai was heavyweight veteran leader of the Indian nationalist movements, Indian independence movements led by the Indian National Congress, Hindu reform movements and Arya Samaj. Chandrasekhar Ajad and Bhagat Singh were inspired by Raj. He died a few weeks after sustaining severe injuries during a baton charge by police when he led a peaceful protest march against all the British Simon Commission. Leader of the nationalist movement, Bipin Chandra Pal, was born on November 7, 1858 in Silet, now in Bangladesh. He started the weekly Paridarsak when he was just 22 years old. He was among the Tremivarit of Lal Bal Pal, which consisted of Lala Lajpat Rai, Bip Balagangadhar Tilak, Bipin Chandra Pal. Pal is known as the father of revolutionary thoughts in India and was one of the freedom fighters in India. He had a multifaceted personality that included being a leader, teacher, journalist, orator, writer, and librarian. He died in 20 May 1932. Floral tribute unto all these freedom fighters. Dadavai Nauraji was also known as the grand old man of India and unofficial ambassador of India. He was an Indian scholar, trader, and a politician. He was also the first Asian to be a British MP. He was also one of the founding members of Indian National Congress, floral tribute unto the lotus feet of Dadabhai Nauroji. Bhagat Singh was one among several Indian revolutionaries who were martyred in the prime of their youth. He and his comrades, Rajguru, Sukhdev, Jatindas, and Sandrasekhar Chandrasekhar Ajat were in their early or mid-twenties when they made the supreme sacrifice. All of them deserve to sign in our collective memory as bright youngsters for all eternity, floral tribute on such great brave heroes and freedom fighters. Gopabandhu Das, known as Utkalmani, Gem of Odisha was a freedom fighter and a journalist. He was also a social worker, reformer, poet, and essayist. He founded the Odia newspaper, Samaja, in 1919 to highlight the problems of masses and to spread her national independence movements in Odisha. The newspaper propagated Gandhian ideologies. His inspiring life came to an end on June 16, 1928. He breathed his last at the age of 51. Chakravarti Rajgopalchari, popularly known as Rajaji RCR, also known as Motaringar Rajaji, was an Indian statesman, 
writer, lawyer, and independence activist. Raj Gopalachari was the last Governor General of India as India soon became a republic in 1950. Khudiram Bose was a brave freedom fighter who fought for the Indians. Oh. Khudiram Bose was a brave freedom fighter who fought for the independence of our country and laid down his life for it. He was hanged at the age of 18 for the attempt of assassination. Floral tribute unto such great patriot. Chitranjan Das was an Indian politician and founder leader of the Swaraj party in Bengal under the British Raj. Das was an influential orator and carried political foresight and tact which gave him a leading position in the Congress. Chitranjan Das is generally referred as Desbandhu, which means friend of the nation. Plural, floral homage unto the lotus feet of Desbandhu Chitranjan Das. Dr. Anivashant was a British social reformer, sometime Fabian socialist, theosophist, and the Indian independence leader. Mohandas Gandhi is known to all. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, popularly known as Mahatma Gandhi, is regarded as the father of nation. Gandhi was a social reformist and leader of Indian independence movement who introduced the idea of non-violence resistance called Satyagraha. He organized the Dandi Salt March in 1930 and quit India movement in 1942. He also worked for the upliftment of untouchables. Gandhi played a key role in pacifying people and averting the Hindu-Muslim riots as tensions rose before and during the partitions of the country. He was shot dead by Nathuram Godse on January 31, 1948. India's first and longest serving Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, was a man of vision. Having participated in the long struggle for freedom from the British Nehru fondly called Pandit Nehru. He was a firm believer in nation building. He was seen as a brave man who fought uh, chauvinists, as a selfless man who had endured years in jail to win freedom, and above all, as a visionary. If Mahatma Gandhi is the father of nation, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, the father of the constitution, then Nehru could be rightly called the father of Indian democracy floral tribute unto such great freedom fighters. F Subhash Chandra Bose, affectionately called H. Netaji, was one of the most prominent leaders of Indian freedom struggle and Indian nationalist. Though Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru have garnered much of the credit for successful culmination of Indian freedom struggle, the contribution of Subhash Chandra Bose is no less. He founded Indian National Army Ajat Hind Fauj to overthrow British Empire from India and came to acquire a legendary status among Indian masses. He always pitched for complete and unconditional independence of India from the British rule. Both most famous slogan was, Give me blood and I shall give you freedom. Let us feed floral tribute and to the lot feet of such great hero of the nation. Ballavai Patil, in full, Ballavai Javarvai Patil, by name Sardar Patil, was the Indian barrister and statesman. One of the leaders of the Indian National Congress during the struggle for Indian independence. During the first three years of Indian independence, after 1947, he served as Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Home Affairs, Minister of Information, and Minister of States. He played a crucial role in India's freedom movement and was the person who pursued the 565 prince listers to accede to independent India. Sardar Vallabhai Patel's birth anniversary is marked as Rastriya Ekta Divas or National Unity Day every year. Floral tribute unto the lotus feet of such great leader and freedom fighter. Lal Bahadur Shastri Srivastava was the third Prime Minister of the Republic of India 
and a significant figure in the Indian independence movement. A great freedom fighter and a statesman, Lal Bahadur Shastri's slogan, Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, capturing the true spirit of India, inspires Indians across generations. Floral tribute unto the lotus feet of Lal Bahadur Shastri. Vijay Lakshmi Pandit, an Indian politician, freedom fighter, and a diplomat was born on this day and is known as Jawaharlal Nehru's younger sister. She was arrested and imprisoned thrice by the jail in the year 1932 to 1933, 1942, and 1942 to 1943 in connection with civil disobedience movements. In 1953, Pandit became the first woman to be elected president of the United Nations General Assembly and she headed the eighth session. Floral tribute unto the lotus feet of Vijay Lakshmi Pandit. Durgavai Deshmukh was an Indian freedom fighter, lawyer, social worker, and politician. She was a member of the Constituent Assembly of India and of the Planning Commission of India. A public activist for women's emancipation, she founded the Andhra Mahila Sabha in 1937. Floral tribute unto the lotus feet of Durga Bhai Deshmukh. Rama Devi was highly influenced by Mahatma Gandhi and took an active part in non-cooperation movement. She used to go from village to village to encourage women to join the independence movement. Others who influenced her were Jay Prakash Narayan, Vinoba Bhave, and her uncle, Madhusudan Das. After the independence of India in 1947, Ramadevi dedicated herself to the cause of Bhudan and Gramdan movements of Acharya Vinoba Bhave. <coughs> Matangini Hajra was an Indian revolutionary who participated in the Indian independence movement until she was shot dead by the British India Police on 29 September 1942. She was affectionately known as Gandhi Buri, Bengali for Old Lady Gandhi. Floral tribute unto such great freedom fighter of India. Sarojini Naidu, who was named as Nightingale of India by Mahatma Gandhi for her beautiful poetry, Sarojini Naidu became the face of women's empowerment in India. She played a key moment during India's freedom struggle. A firm believer of Satyagraha and a close follower of Mahatma Gandhi, Sarojini Naidu was the first woman president of the Indian National Congress and also the first woman governor in India. I pay floral tribute on such great freedom fighters. My salutations and frustrations to all the freedom fighters of India who dedicated, sacrificed their life for the sake of the motherland and who gave us independence on this happiest occasion of Happy Independence Day. Let us pay floral tribute unto the lotus feet of our immortal freedom fighters and seek their blessings on this happiest occasion. Let us determine to serve and sacrifice for Mother India on this happiest occasion. Wish you happy Independence Day to you all once again. Thank you all for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and share this video to others.